I'm super excited. Today we're going to show you a condo unit here in Greenfield District. This condo unit is a one bedroom, two bathroom loft type of unit located in Greenfield District in Mandaluyong City. A location for tourists or expats or anyone just wanting to experience the city life. Wow, I made it. Welcome back to the channel. Just to give you guys a little bit of context, this condo unit is actually owned by one of my cousins who works and lives overseas. This month he's here, so he's letting us take a good look into his home, so I'm super excited. Today we're gonna learn about how much it costs to get his condo unit and how much it costs now. But yeah, if you like this type of content where we look at you know, properties, please let me know in the comment section below. While you're there, you might as well click the like button. Make that a nice blue. Be the gang of your password. Okay, ready. Hello, Taupo! Excuse me, do I know you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what's up? Hindi niya actually alam na magtutur kami dito. My cousin, and he owns this unit, and he is, he's been so Hello. kind enough to let us in. Okay, so... Is this a lot more difficult than magkakalaka yes. tayo? <laughs> Hindi ako professional. Let's start from the door, right here. Here on the right is just some storage. Storage and washer. Um, meron ng si Harry Potter and dito rin <laughs> Let's move on to the washroom. So it's definitely shower with a rain shower head. Meron siyang water heater. So kailangan talaga. That's a must. Lalo na din sa Philippines, di ba? We talked about it in our other video mm -hmm. where sobrang lamig ng tubig pag gabi. Did you show the bidet? Ayan, gumagana ba to, Mark? <laughs> you don't want to test it. <laughs> it <laughs> works, but it's just make a mess out of it. <laughs> okay. So you have a bidet there, but it just use tabo, guys. Right when you enter, you automatically start to feel the vibe. Para siyang gusto mo magkape ka, guys. What's your inspiration for this? Uh, actually, it was I was on a trip in Jeju. In mm -hmm. Korea, and we stayed in a cottage where it was um, it was actually uh, it was also industrial team, mm -hmm. but a bit more has more of an Asian vibe to it. But then it featured brick walls, uh, unpainted uh, unpainted uh, concrete walls as well, and it just made it a whole lot uh, more warmer, mm -hmm. you know, so to speak, a lot more cozy. And then I saw it a lot in Melbourne as well, and that's where I formed this industrial. Um, uh, how they say it? <laughs> Preference. <laughs> Usually when I travel, I try to uh, pass by the local flea markets and try to get some nice antique looking pieces. I don't know, it's just my thing. I kind of like old stuff. I'm an old soul. So uh, anything that has a ring to me, I try and pick them up. And in the hopes of one day showcasing it in my future home. And that's why you see them here. So instead of going for fridge mar uh, magnets, Go and check exactly. out the local flea markets. You might find something a bit more personal. Yeah. And it yeah. looks better, Has right? A, bit, a lot character. Yeah. Right? This unit is actually decorated by an interior designer named Kench So. I'll put his website in the description box below. If you guys are interested, you can check him out. He has fine taste. When I have a house, I'll let him decorate my house. So, back in a man. Okay, so guys, I forgot to say when you pass up with these lucky noodles. Na to. Brought to you, by. <laughs> because he puts it up for rentals, of course he has some house rules. Bawa lang to yung guys, wag magluto dito na to yung. Tapos malamit pa siyang iba, so hindi kana siya babasahin. But everything, all the information is here, so we'll leave it here. Is this induction? Yes. Oh, there you go. Pero okay. kasi usually yeah, yung buildings like these don't. They don't allow gas anymore. No gas. It's okay. Yeah. Pag brown out, ito mag ano kay ng lampara. It's a coffee grinder. 
and it's part of his collection so it's really nice it's a nice touch oh yeah this piece is uh, extendable you can fold it this way this is a perfect height for even when you like to stand while eating mobilisan <laughs> go right hindi mo na kailangan mo po chin ano ang class ng countertop to Granite? Granite? I have no idea. Something that ends with I and E, but uh, I forgot. <laughs> so you got your exhaust fan here, you have an induction oven. So pending magluto for, for staycations yon. I just want to show that there's lots of cupboard space here and down here. So and they also have um, some utensils and ready to go. So you guys can use that if ever you're staying here. Microwave. <laughs> Magpa dito. Magsut kaya chinelas. So let's go. You see the little pieces that really brings out the character of this home. More into this uh, rough look, almost kind of like a bachelor's pad. And in the Philippines, the industrial look is starting to get a bit more popular because it's pretty common in coffee shops, uh, places where you like to relax and be cozy. And so I wanted to have the same vibe in my place. So here's what you got. A bit about this brick wall. Alam mo yung sa Hogwarts, hindi pala ito totoong brick, right? So ano siya, anong mga pala ito? Plaster? No, it's fall brick. Fall brick. Made out of? Fall. <laughs> it's made out of plaster. So plaster. Uh, this nice touch, para siyang exposed brick. Pero hindi siya totoong brick, kasi yung brick ma mabigat daw. But, pati ba naman trash can? Grabe, uh, customize. It's a good alternative for adding texture to your home. Na-strip yung paint, yung sabi mo Yeah, we had to strip the paint off. Yeah. They had to strip the paint here and then, I guess... Seal like, it with some sort of Elmer's glue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, take a look at this map. <laughs> this entire mural was hand sculpted by an artist. I like how they put the lighting here to focus on this mural. Kaya tayo may Daniel Sardita. What what used to be Indonesia was <laughs> taken over by the Raptors. Yeah, but it really looks nice, and you don't really see this anywhere. One of a kind, though, because it's hand sculpted, diba? This is the bedroom area here, and then they have um, a closet space here. I love this whole touch because it makes the space look a lot bigger. Once you go in here. You have your very own bathroom. Pasok tayo sa bathroom, wag tumay tumay. Okay, so you also have a rain shower head here and a nice upuan niyan, di ba? Upuan ba to? I don't know. To avoid flooding. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Para kung yana napagod ka, pwede ka ang upo. Yeah. We have a nice modern shower here and with some glass doors. Ang laki ng inodoro niyo, guys. It's way too big. Ang laki to kasi sa baba. It's the same. Oh it, really? It just has these weird spots on the good. You know. Ah, yeah. Sure. We're all like hiding our tummies. Yeah. No. <laughs> Ito na ba tayo sa Tony Gonzaga Studio. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm feeling you. I'm feeling mo, ma. So, anyways, Ooh. change location. We're gonna talk about the spec. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Me creepy lighting. This is good. Now we're gonna talk about the specs of the place. Kano na kamo ka? Ako, do I need to shave? Okay, so specs. Um, what's the square meter of this unit? Uh, it's a 55 square meter loft. Mm, okay, and if you don't mind me asking, how much did you buy it for? Um, I got it back in 2016 for 9M. Oh, um, nine, 9 million pesos. Here's the conversion. So how much do you think this uh, a loft like this costs now? So usually an undecorated loft would be right around uh, 11 to 12 million mm. as per today's market price. So, but yeah, I would suggest you check with Greenfield. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You can check it out at Greenfield and they have plenty of sales uh, personnel who can help you out. Okay, so just for accurate... <laughs> accurate. <laughs> <laughs> just to be sure, I'll put the link down here too. Lahat na lang dyan, na hindi namin alam, lalagay namin dyan. Oh, what are the amenities here in this building? In, in Twin Oaks, there's two towers. We're in the West Tower and then the newly built one is on the East Tower. Mm -hmm. Although they only have the loft type apartments in this tower. Oh and each tower has a gym and each tower also has a pool so it comes with a pool a gym uh, three basements of private parking another two for public parking mm. and plenty of shops uh, all around uh, you can see downstairs there's a weekend market although nowadays they also open up during the weekdays and there is a food truck uh, right around the parking lot to the left 
Mm, okay. Yes. And also, naglaba ko kanina sa baba, meron silang laundromat. Oh, yeah, they also have a laundromat downstairs. And they also have a water, um, how do you say it? Water refilling, refilling station, station for your drinking needs. Mm, perfect. Drinking so, needs. <laughs> <laughs> this type of building is really perfect because whoever is staying here has everything within their midst, within their vicinity. Yeah, usually these kind of places are popular for Airbnbs and other short term rentals because they're closer to um, where people really work mm -hmm. and also it's close to a lot of expo centers where people usually have huge conferences yeah. i also get a lot of foreign uh, uh, foreign visitors mm -hmm. here as guests looking for rooms and they like to compare because there are also uh, five star hotels all over the area mm -hmm. and people tend to compare the prices between five star hotels and short term airbnb spaces like uh, like mine mm -hmm. and of course they go most of the time they go with a cheaper option so. yeah and this is is really nice too like if you have a hotel room with like um, a one king size bed they buy it's so much more expensive versus you have a loft type where you have everything where you can cook and stuff like that so I would pick this over a hotel room uh, is it worth it you know to get this type of investment um, in this location so let's say pre-pandemic how is how is it like it was pretty busy uh, on peak days uh, especially during December and January, uh, occupancy rates could go as easy as 80 to 85 percent, mm -hmm. right? Wow. And uh, yeah, uh, there's plenty of bookings all around. But then during the pandemic, we had to close down because, of course, we had to adhere to safety standards. We can no longer just entertain any guests, and we have to go abide by very strict hygiene measures. Mm -hmm. So. We had, things were a bit of a slump for the past two years but slowly things are picking up this is something that a lot of you guys might be interested in knowing like how much does a unit like this make so pre-pandemic let's just say um, pre-pandemic numbers yeah so assuming that you are at least in an occupancy rate of minimum 70 percent uh it's easy to rack up fifty thousand per month Right, and that already is more than enough usually to cover the median um, mortgage uh, monthly amortization plus the condo dues. So mm -hmm. there's plenty, plenty to go by, and including the power, the, the utilities as well. So mm. it certainly is a good business. So, guys, look at the view. Oh my gosh. But can you imagine at night, all of this will be lit up? It's really accessible to the public transportation system, like the LRT or MRT. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Enjoyed that? That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I feel like I learned so much. It's information. It's very informative, I would say. And also, let me, let me guys, let me know, guys, if you like this type of content um, in the comment section below. So that's it. Thank you, Mark, for letting us. Um, <laughs> thank you for letting us uh, invade your privacy. Simple life. For all of you guys who are new to this, you start off with a really low price. Uh, <laughs> <Lodito>. Damn! <laughs> so pro! Get here. Okay. Did I clean that? Maybe you don't want to look in there. Time's oh, she's sharpening her pencil. Yeah. Don't look any further in there. <laughs> yes! <laughs> There's a real risk. Kina mera mo pa. Dude, sa sabi ko. Ay mo malisi. Nakani mo ata holy risi ni. Mommy, what's this? Oh my god. There's a biohazard in there, please. Dime si te acuerdas